we've got to mix them all up. These are circles. Oh, here, let's mix the circles in. It's them. hard to move to a city like Broomfield and not want to be connected to the community. Oh, we need the last shape, the squares. I started hearing the name Bal Swan come up again and again. That child is helping their grandpa in a wheelchair. That's the most important part to me, to create a culture where our families really do feel a sense of belonging. So finding a standalone preschool that had roots in the community was super important to our family. Yeah, that shape starts with an O. I have Kiki Buell in our class. She's the third one in the Buell family. They have number four on the way. <laughs> He's already in training during <laughs> hand washing. <That's> <laughs>One of the things we discovered over the course of our time at Balsawan is Kiki's love of art. All the colors together and made a braille. So when she comes in, she straight goes, can I paint? We give her watercolors or acrylic paint, whatever she wants. And every day she comes out of school with a new creation and I can just see the pride on her face and how excited she is to share that with us. Initially, when she would come into the classroom, she would be a little nervous, not sure what's gonna happen, how she's gonna be adjusting. I was anxious about how she would interact with her peers, how she would get her needs met, how she would thrive in the way that we'd seen our older two kids thrive at school. Each child has their own challenges, and our family's no different. I think we've all had those experiences. I feel like we offer hope to a lot of families that might feel like they didn't fit into other schools. While she has those speech deficiencies, she is so advanced in other ways. Yellow green, that's what it's called. You made yellow green. Keaton had a speech delay, which is a stark contrast from our other two kids who when they entered Bal Swan, were talking a mile a minute. The most important service to us that we've engaged with on, on multiple levels is speech therapy. Do you want the story first or picky kitty? Kitty first, and then what's after? Speech is integrated into the classroom in different ways. For each student, it's really individualized. Class, yes, we go to class last. Push in and then pull out services for our students who receive services. And then we also provide classroom support for the entire classroom. I am there. Yeah, that's right. Now you're in the therapy room. Therapists and teachers and parents are all like really one community. We all collaborate together. So remember, we're not gonna touch her head, okay? Otherwise she will drop all the food all over the place. For example, for Shivane, we met so many times last year because he had great skills. He just needed some support. And we as a team wanted to figure out what does the support look like? Okay, here's Shivane. That's S for you. And M for me. Year one. I'm zero. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I started with him last August, Shivane had a lot of language, but he didn't know how to use the language to express himself. Before you put the corn, put the letters. One of his really amazing strengths are his love of reading and letters and numbers. So we use that strength to help him follow directions. We would provide like the auditory input and then give him the visual. Father is snoring loud and slow. <laughs> and then provide him the auditory input again so he's able to kind of make that connection between what he hears and then when he reads. The teachers and his aides were amazing at just using that strategy. Now he does not need it. So he is able to just hear the instruction, multi-step instruction, and he would just follow it. Hmm, who do you think is celebrating? Love is breathing fellow for His teachers really went above and beyond. They wanted to see him grow. They wanted to see him thrive, and he did. No, 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 no. All week, some of us have the same feelings about stuff. I'm I so know. excited. You're picking shy? Yeah. You're feeling shy today? It really feels like Bal Swan is a second home for our family. Karen, and who else are we waiting for? Once a kid comes to our classroom, it's just not the kid that we focus on. We focus on the whole family. Some of the solutions that we've been equipped with over our time at Balswan is learning to speak at Kiki's level. So you're gonna mark your name off with a line. And then also just waiting. 
allowing her the time to get the words out that she needs to. Kiki has grown so much in her confidence and her ability to persist and try new things across the curriculum. Just recently, she went through another speech assessment and she has now uh, progressed to the point where she is on track with her development. All right, the path is clear now. Kiki, you can go up. Uh, and that's just a testament, I think, to all the people involved. All right, there we go. Wait for your turn. It has been overwhelming how she has exploded with skills and abilities that we just did not think were possible. Val Swan is a magical place, a place where kids can grow and thrive. And I cannot think of a better place to invest time and resources than this incredible place.